Hey guys, happy Wet Wednesday. So today we are doing a continuation of our video series where we're interviewing some of the staff here at the lab. And so today we are interviewing Corinne Rhodes, who is one of our extension assistants. Um, so get excited. Uh, Corinne, why don't you tell us what your title is and what you do here in the lab? Okay, so howdy y'all, my name is Corinne Rose, and I'm currently an extension assistant at the Texas Plant Disease Diagnostic Lab. Um, as an extension assistant here, I'm also the assistant diagnostician. I hold the title of the Stone Fruit Coordinator of Texas, and I'm also an HLV USDA certified diagnostician. Uh, the majority of my time, um, I conduct my special project, uh, which deals with stone fruits um, in Texas, and I survey for plum pox virus, European stone fruit yellows, and the light brown apple moth. So um, in the next few videos, we're gonna follow Corinne out in the field, and she's gonna show us how her stone fruit survey uh, is done, so yay. <laughs> Howdy y'all, so we're out here in the field so I can show you kind of what I do uh, when I go sampling for the stone fruit survey. Um, once again, like I said in the introduction, uh, I sample for three different things, two uh, pathogens and one pest. So PPV, plum pox virus, ESFY, European stone fruit yellows, and LBAM, uh, which is the light brown apple moth. For PPV, and ESFY, I take leaf samples. Um, we use the hierarchical sampling method, so we sample a quarter of the orchard, and uh, I will take leaf samples from four trees and have it as a composite sample. Then when I go back to the lab, I'll split that sample into two, and it'll become sample A and B. Um, I usually take symptomatic leaf tissue but if it's not symptomatic, I'll still take the sample because the disease sometimes does not present itself um, with symptoms. And um, we run ELISAs on the leaf tissue, which I will show you back in the lab. So before I take the leaf sample, I sterilize my scissors with ethanol. I just dip the scissors in and then kind of let it dry off. Um, I will take four leaf samples um, from the tree, pretend that this is a peach tree. Um, I only take samples from peach, almond, cherry, um, and apricot, and plum, because that is what um, the plum pox virus uh, affects. Um, I will cut close to the base of the stem at the petiole. Um, and then after I take the sample, I will put it in a little Ziploc bag, close it up, and then put it in the um, ice chest so I can keep it cool between the time that I take it and the time that I get it back to the lab to process. Um, for ESFY, I take visual observations. If I see symptomatic tissue, then I will collect a leaf tissue sample. Um, but PPV and ESFY are not currently in Texas. Um, the other thing that I sample for is the LBAM, and we actually um, have traps to set for those. Once we set them, we wait four to six weeks to come back um, to see what has collected on the sticky trap. So this is the house of the trap, and we have the sticky traps, we pull these two things apart, and then the sticky part of the trap goes in the base. We have a hanger because we're going to hang it on a branch in the tree, and then we have our pheromones which will attract the light brown apple moth. So here is the pheromone, it's really small. You can't smell it, but the insect can. And then we just stick it right in the glue, and then we will hang it on a tree branch, and then come back 
and see what we have collected. Thank you so much for sharing all of that with us. I had no idea that she did that much. So real quick before we leave, I wanted to ask you, what is your favorite plant pathogen? So I have two. I love Actinopelti and Phymatotricopsis omnivora, which is the causal pathogen of Conqueror Rock. That's awesome. Well, have a great Wednesday. Um, look forward to next week's video because we are gonna do bloopers and it's gonna be so funny. Have a great week.